You know, I should be really surprised that you were able to find me out here. I went from Australia straight to East Germany just to dig up some old tanks and fund some war efforts in a third world country. Like, I am genuinely surprised you were able to find me. I made sure that everything was hidden so you couldn't hunt me down for whatever salt you tried to find. And I would also appreciate it if you put down the flashlight and the knife and all 15 of you stop trying to threaten me. But if you will help me, I can offer you a little proposal. I'll give you a job here. You help me refurbish these tanks while I get the factory up and running. And each tank you do, you get paid a very certain amount of salt, all of you. And it saves me paying real money. And I should mention this, but we have a deadline of next week. They're requesting a couple things, as these Somali pirates are looking for a new Somali assault dinghy, which they want to use a KV-1 for some reason. I mean, I won't judge, they're paying good money. So, some of the things that they've requested for us to do is an armor package, a factory green camo that the Russians used to bring off in World War II, and a complete stowage of ammo ready for the KV-1's weapon. And they're also asking for this to be an all-terrain vehicle, alongside a vehicle that can float in water. So we gotta get our hands on some new stuff, a lighter engine and a couple other things, but I'm sure we can figure that out. And if you're wondering where we're gonna get most of the stuff to refurbish this vehicle, well it's quite simple. I found a Russian salt mine. They've stored a lot of equipment from World War One and modern day weapons and armor in there as well. So I'm sure we can use it all, and if we want to do it, you can just go grab it. We just gotta track through Poland, you know, that hellhole of a country. Fine, fine, fine. Chill out. Put down the knife and I'll give you the salt. How about that? And guess what? This isn't my type of salt. I know my salt is kind of meh, but I'm sure you're gonna love this salt because it isn't mine. It's a far higher quality. I'll give it to you if you put down the knife and promise to get working straight away. God, you have such a disgusting smile. Is that really what salt does to your teeth? I'm thankful I don't take any of it. I think this should be said, but you're giving a feral ghoul from Fallout, whichever game you choose, a run for its money when it comes to sex appeal. Now that I think about it, you kind of look like a feral ghoul from all the salt you've been taking. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, chill out. I'll, I'll start it now. I'll give you the salt. Calm down. So to give context to this salt, which will be quite important for the future of this video as a lot of the stuff that you'll be hearing now will be mentioned later in the video. So mainly we'll be talking about Microsoft's Q3 financial report, or whenever their third quarter financial report had happened recently. But the biggest takeaway from that financial report is that Microsoft's console sales for the Xbox Series S and X are down 33% from the last one. And alongside that, their profits seem to be going up because of Activision Blizzard and their multi plat options are for their games now, it's which shouldn't be surprised, and giving people the option to buy Sea of Thieves on PlayStation would probably increase your profits a pretty decent chunk, since a lot of people seem to be buying that game. And I don't blame them, it's probably one of the only good Xbox games. Especially if you're comparing it to recent releases from both Xbox and PlayStation. So with all that information given, let's just move on to the first tweet, which is from JDub. Damn, Microsoft Gaming has dropped again! and is no longer outperforming the Windows division. Minus 33% hardware due to Xbox Source falling off a cliff, speaks volumes for Xbox consoles. The chances of a new Xbox console of any type is looking seemingly very bleak. I'm not sure if this is just me, but isn't that more of a flex that it was able to stay above Windows? You would expect something like Windows to be constantly selling, but from what it shows from this little picture, it doesn't seem to be selling much, which to me just doesn't sound right. Purely because Windows is used for so many things besides gaming, and if they were able to keep above that, it would be more of a flex, and to keep close to it? I don't know about you, I think that's even more of a flex. But to say that Microsoft will not bother making another console when they've shown the incentive by acquiring Activision Blizzard just doesn't seem right or sit right with me at all. Like, why would you spend all that money? And I am kind of curious to see where they're gonna go with their next console. I think their biggest issue now is actually providing good games to actually play. Xbox has really been struggling with that recently. But since I don't use their platform anymore, I couldn't really care where it goes, as long as I get the games on PC. That's really all that I need. Our next tweet is from Unleashed. Satya Nadella, our games are selling best on PlayStation. F them, Xbox. Oh no, more people get to play on the platform of their choice. What shock and horror is this, and how is that an L? How is that a bad thing for Xbox? More people get to play their games on their desired platform. And yet, when Ghost of Tsushima was coming to PC, you cried like a little girl, because oh no, more people get to play a game on their desired platform. 
but because Xbox is getting their games on PlayStation, oh, it's a good thing. And yet, if the roles were reversed, if PlayStation games were coming to Xbox, you would say how that is bad for the industry, that everything that they're doing here that Sony's doing right now is bad and they shouldn't be doing it. But then you try to flex that Xbox games are being played on PlayStation, doesn't that just tell you that people have a desire to play them, at least the good ones? Can you see the problem with your logic? I really just have to ask, what's the point in asking and talking about Xbox all the time when you're a PlayStation fan? Just be happy that you get the games and leave it at that. I don't know why you have to constantly bring up Xbox in every tweet that you make. You, Jdub, Xvault, Japan Hates Xbox, all of you really extreme fanboys just need to stop talking about Xbox. Wonderful news. Seem Satya hates Xbox as much as we do. Let's hurry up and take all the rest of the remaining few Xbox exclusives away. When Xbox dies, we all win. Yes, because apparently having only two competing companies instead of three or competing for your time is somehow better in this case. I'm sure you were all expecting Japan Hates Xbox to appear eventually in this video. He has a tendency to appear in almost every PlayStation fanboy video. And for some reason, he believes this to be wonderful news. If Xbox was to disappear, imagine what would happen to PlayStation. They could determine whatever price they want for whatever games they want. Instead of paying 70, you might have to pay 100, 150. I know, we're really getting up into the extreme pricing, but who's gonna stop them? Can you remember when Microsoft first switched over to $70 games and, you know, everyone got really upset at that? They still made it $70, it's now the average now, everyone's doing 70. And they told us repeatedly we would get better quality games. We never did, because they still release Buggy and Broken and have Sweet Baby tied to them. Very fun, isn't it? And I'm sure you can see how this problem would be amplified if there were only two of them instead of three. Anyway, let's just move on to our favorite resident bald man, x -Vault. I really feel that if Xbox did not acquire ABK, they would not even be here right now, TBH. Xvault, do you know why they acquired Activision Blizzard? It was to stay competitive in the industry. The games that they were already producing weren't bringing back enough, but if you bring a game like Call of Duty, their mobile division, and all these other things in together, it would keep them competitive within the gaming industry. And alongside that, it'd also prevent Facebook and Amazon from getting in the industry. And nobody wants them in there because I'd have no idea how to make games, and you know, the games that they've attempted to make don't really last too long. Our final tweet is from the S-Class gamer himself, King Thrash. Satya spoke higher about success on PlayStation than he ever spoke about Xbox. Like I told y'all, PlayStation and Nintendo is more important to MS than Xbox, and they will ditch it for PlayStation and Nintendo gamers. Do you really think Microsoft would want to ditch 40 million console owners? I don't think they would, I wouldn't, that's a lot of money I could still make if I was to migrate them over to other platforms. But like I said earlier in this video, the more people that play whatever game they want, wherever they want, whenever they want, it's an absolute win. I don't know why that's so hard for all of you to understand. And why do you treat it as such a bad thing that Microsoft's going out there and saying, oh look, we make more money from these platforms? It's because those people have never had a chance to play those games unless they own both consoles or on PC. You're giving a whole bunch of people more games to play. There are people that have never played Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush, and I would recommend playing Sea of Thieves, that game's really good. So there you go. Did you get your enjoyment out of your dose of salt? Because you'll get more if you finish this. You've been out for a day. And we've still got roughly five to six days to finish this little project. The tools are over there. Let's get started. I'll watch you from a corner, menacingly, judgingly even, if you don't get this done, because that's a lot of money on the line and a little bit more on the line that I can't share with you, but uh, it includes my life. But that is it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one, and I hope you have a great day.